my mom still says I'm crazy for doing this, but I have a lot of fun doing it. But I have been part of this squadron for about five years now, and we, we kind of keep track of how many missions we do by how many hurricane penetrations we have. And I have, uh, last count, I think 88 uh, times I've flown through the center of a hurricane. Uh, so I've seen a lot of activity in the past five years. Uh, and this year, so far, we're off to a fast start. We receive our taskings from the National Hurricane Center in Miami, Florida. And at least a couple of days prior, they will give us a call. To, they will let us know what they're seeing. So at a minimum, we have five crew members, two pilots, a navigator, a weather officer, and a loadmaster. Of course, the pilots, the main job is uh, keeping the airplane straight and level as much as we can in the storm environment. We have navigators that are responsible for our flight planning. They also look at our fuel plan because we can have missions anywhere from 9 to 12 hours long. And then the weather officer, they're the ones really driving the mission. They are constantly in talks with the Hurricane Center to um, really talk about what the weather officer is seeing in the plane. And then the Hurricane Center can look at you know, satellites and also uh, some different products. And they really collaborate together. This is what we actually uh, release out of the airplane and it has a parachute on top and will actually fall out of the plane to the surface. So the loadmaster is responsible for uh, deploying that instrument uh, into various parts of the, the hurricane or tropical storm to collect the weather data. It's a great feeling knowing I'm contributing to collecting data that ultimately improves the forecast. That's really what we're here to do and our hope is that everything we can collect narrows down you know, that, that cone you probably see on the TV or where it's going to make landfall. And ultimately, we're hoping this saves lives. Uh, people get a better heads up and uh, have a lot of faith in the forecast and that it's going to be accurate. We go right through the middle of the storm, uh, right through the eye, the eye wall and the eye, uh, up, up to anywhere from two to seven or eight times per flight. Uh, we have some meteorologists on board. We have uh, technicians in the back. Uh, we have data uh, people in the back that help process the data. Uh, we have navigators. And of course, we have some of the pilots. The raw data that we receive actually feeds into um, bigger models that, uh, that aggregate a bunch of data from a bunch of different places. So once they get all of that information, then they, uh, the Hurricane Center can, can spit out an accurate track and intensity forecast uh, to the best of their ability. We treat it with a lot of respect. We're all uh, very excited to get in there. I think there is a little bit of adrenaline. Uh, it's, it's excitement. Uh, at this point, for me, it's fun. I enjoy doing it. I think we all do it because we enjoy it. We all do it, uh, out of, again, out of a sense of pride and duty, and, and everyone on the plane is very committed to that.